start with the Safari or Google Chrome browser on your iPhone and then you're going to go to forms.new. Forms.new is going to make a new Google form. In the Safari or Chrome web browser, you went to form.new and now you can name your Google form. Notice that in two places it says untitled form. The upper untitled form is the name that you will have in Google Drive, where the bottom untitled form is what the user sees as the form name. You very likely will have these match, but they don't have to. So name the form for what will be in Drive and title it for what the user sees and then go ahead and ask your first question, which is probably, what's your name? Add additional questions to the Google form by looking at the toolbar at the bottom of the screen. You're looking for the circle with a plus sign to add a question. So you can now add, what is your last name? Or other questions. Now it is going to predict what is the question style. So when I add, what color is Red Riding Hood's hood? it's going to automatically assume that it is multiple choice and I can go ahead and change that to short answer or check boxes or anything else that I want and go ahead and put in my options. Notice that I'm able to just start typing. It has highlighted the options. I do not have to hit the delete key. I can just go ahead and add my selections. And if I want to shuffle the questions, I'm going to go to the three dots so that I can choose to shuffle option order, add additional questions by using the toolbar down at the bottom. Make sure you go to the settings tab in Google Forms before you're done. You're going to want to tap on the settings tab, it goes questions, responses, settings, and go through and look through all of the sections. Notice the sections are collapsed. You're going to want to expand them out and see which choices make sense for your form. Is this a quiz? Do you want to save email addresses? Read through all of the options before making your decision. Share your Google form by locating the airplane icon in the upper right and getting the share link. Copy it to your clipboard and send it to anyone.